Hey, it's Matt with CrookRegisterSEO.com and today I'm going to do a real quick video showing you how to get more subscribers for your newsletter, for your list with traffic you already have that you're probably neglecting. And as you might guess, it's your 404 error pages. Now, before I go on, just like ask you quickly to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. So if you have your own website, you have a pages automatically on your website where people go, say if they mistype something like, for example, on this site, if I just type, you know, the website and then blah, 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 SD def, whatever, I'm going to get this 404 page. Now, what good does this do me? <laughs> You because a lot of people will be typing the wrong extension, will do typos. You're gonna you have if you have a website, you're gonna have four or four pages. All right. So what good does this do me? Nothing. All right. Now you probably should have something that says, hey, you typed the wrong page, click here to go back to the home page. Fair enough. But how about we repurpose this entire page? Now I'll show you what I did with another site. Now, this site I have is a URL redirection service. It's PHP script, which uh, redirects people's, our, my customers' URLs uh, to, to their website. It's, a, it's like a tiny URL deal, but it's on my server. It's a simple PHP script, actually a really well done one uh, that anyone could get. And so I've got all these customers. I've got a number of these installations on this one. I guess I got 214 URLs. Now eventually we'll do the customer's campaigns and maybe they change their mind and then want to move on to something else so that it's, uh, they cancel the campaign. That's fine. So after a while, I end up with all these URLs uh, that are just kind of dead. And that was really dead traffic. So people would type in, you know, uh, class uh, URL says John, J Smith and that person no longer had a campaign going and what'd they get? Okay. Right before what they were going to get was that big 404 error page. But now I've set it up so that any time that there is a, there is a mistyping or an error page, they're going to get my sign up form. And this has definitely increased my subscribers. So think about, you know, if you have a 404 error page, that's not doing anything for you. Repurpose it. You're, you're giving away that traffic. So you could choose to have a page like this when someone types in, you know, like up here, some uh, misspellings, which is definitely going to happen. Or you can have a site like this. Okay. I'm going to type in the URL. It's the bad URL. I come in and now it's going to redirect to my landing page. Now for this site, that works out pretty well because, um, there really is no website for people to go to. It's just a service I'm offering just for my clients. And it's kind of my own internal thing. I'm not advertising that website. It still gets a lot of traffic because we run a lot of campaigns on it. So, um, it, it's worthwhile for me just to completely send them to uh, a landing page. All right. Now, what you might want to do is design a specific 401 page. Like up here, you could say, hey, sorry, uh, you, you, you um, seem to have gone to the wrong page to return to our homepage. Click here. Uh, we'd like to invite you to join our newsletter, et cetera, et cetera. But use that traffic. Now, you can look in your website and see where you control the 404 error pages. It's going to be different for each setup. You know, if you're just promoting someone else's affiliate link, you might not have control of that, but that's another reason to have your own domain name, your own blog. Even if you're just doing affiliate marketing, something where you can have control of the real estate and control of what's going on, where you could put uh, newsletter sign up forms, where you could put banners, where you could put uh, blog posts, where you could embed your videos and so forth and where you can control your 404 error pages. Here's an example of a um, 404 error page for my blog, All right? So if you type in the wrong blog post, you get this. It's not too bad because it's going to send you to other posts and so forth and give you a search function. But, you know, am I asking them to join my newsletter here? Actually, we, I could probably improve this and put a little form on it where they could join my newsletter as well. 
Did it, does, do I have to have this big, huge thing that says 404 oops? Um, you can do a little thing 404 oops and then yeah, have the links to the rest of the website because that's what the people who were in originally intending to go to, um, but put a form where they can subscribe. All right. So this is kind of the stock one for my theme, but I'm going to look into how I can modify this so that I can get more subscribers. So it's going to be different on every website. Sometimes you'll have a WordPress theme. Uh, other times you can do it up from cPanel if you have cPanel. So here I'm logged into my cPanel account. Now this is a very, very popular, if not the most popular um, website management uh, system. So I type in error pages here. And actually I come here and I can edit these pages. This is the most popular one. And I can actually put in custom HPL, HTML code uh, that people are going to see when they get to the error page, as, uh, along with other information if you, if you want to put that information in. So this is a place on cPanel where you can edit not only that error page, but other error pages too. Now, you know, maybe you don't want to do that for the 500 error page. That's when there's a script error. Uh, you might want to know about that. Um, or forbidden, uh, maybe there's a reason you want those people forbidden, maybe ban that IP or something, but definitely on the 404, people are trying to get to your site. Uh, they're trying to learn about you and maybe they mistyped and, or who knows the reason you can come in here and edit this the way you want with the HTML code that you need. Now, different themes are going to have different ways of doing it. Different websites will have different, uh, ways to air your to uh, edit your error pages, but this just gives you an idea. So if you have a website and you're not doing anything with your error page, go ahead and see if you can maximize that real estate to get more subscribers because it really builds up. If you get an extra two or three uh, subscribers a day, that's, you know, another uh, 60 to hundred subscribers a month that gives you momentum, that gives you more sales. It's just another way to, to move ahead. A lot of times we're looking for that one big shot to put us over the top. A lot of times it's a lot of little things that build up. So take a look at this and I'm actually going to take a look at some of my sites too and see how I can maximize my error pages. I hope this uh, video has helped you and give you, giving you an idea on how to build your list and get more traffic to your website. If you found it helpful, please like it. I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also I'd like to invite you to join my newsletter. We're giving away $597 of free marketing software. You can download it right after you join and confirm your email. So you'll find that link in the description below. Thanks so much. This is Matthew May with quickregisterseo.com.